And new at five, you have to look at this mess. A building that went up in flames three months ago. It is still sitting here in ruins. How would you like this in your neighborhood? Russell Haythorn is live at 37th and Marion. And Russell, you talk to neighbors, they are not happy. And for good reason, Ann, it's a blight on an otherwise cleaned up area of town. And residents here wonder if this isn't just the city ignoring this neighborhood yet again. To call it the neighborhood eyesore would be a major understatement. I live on 37th and so I'm uh, very frustrated. The complete south side of the building is gone, leaving everything, and we mean everything, exposed to the entire neighborhood. My frustration is that it looked like this, but even more, it's a safety issue. It's not secure. There are kids getting in and out of it. You can see there's graffiti on the walls. 7 News was there as an early morning fire ripped through this eight unit building in July. But that was three months ago. We're in a litigious society where we have to make sure we abide by the building code. City Councilman Albus Brooks explains even though the owner has been unresponsive in getting the property cleaned up, the city must give proper notice and time for the owner to respond. Pending state approval, I believe we'll have access on Monday and be able to demo the property. We tried contacting the property owner ourselves at the owner's home, but no answer. If the city tears down the building itself, it will bill the owner 124 grand to do so. Neighbors say get it done. I feel strongly that if this house was downtown or in front of Coors Field or in front of Broncos Stadium, uh, they would have found a way to get it fixed by now. Several residents told us today they're not holding their breath in terms of this building coming down next Monday. The city says that by law it could begin demo on this building on Thursday of this week in just two days. But the city says the state wants to come in and do further asbestos abatement on Thursday and Friday of this week. So Monday is the day set for demo. We'll certainly follow up on this. Live in Five Points, Russell Haythorn, 7 News.